G'day all, I'm Graham Sanders and I live at Townsville, North Queensland. That's where Latitude 19 crosses the east coast of Australia. Let's talk about Tetragonula sapiens hive design. Well, you've seen in other videos, but I'll show them here again. For Tetragonula sapiens, I've got a number of hive designs and they all work. This is a plastic honey pot hive in its foam box. That certainly works. I've got a video on this box you can see here. And you can look that up on hive design for sapiens. That's now currently set up on another hive that's in a concrete block in an induction, induction, budding, whatever. So you can see that sapiens live in a wide variety of homes. And you can yet have another type of home for sapiens and that will work fine. So not a plastic, not a, uh, not a plastic, not a wood. Let's have a concrete hive. And this is a hive I've just built. I'm going to be transferring some sapiens into this hive. You'll see there it's got a base. It's got a hole in the concrete block, that's about 10 mil. And it's got another short block on top of that. Zip around here. Must have my back for you people. You can see the side view of it. There it goes. And if I take the lid off, uh, reach down. You'll see I put in a little base plate. And if I take that out, it's just an empty block. And that's it. Very simple. The dimensions of this block, that's 120 by 120. Height, that's about 190. We're talking millimetres here, of course. So the volume of this is about 1.75 litres. Ideal size. What sapiens will do, put this back, is at the entrance put stores and up in the top bit up in here just behind this plate will be where the brood is the brood did i say 1.75 is 2.75 liters that's a bit better i'll have to check the video on that yeah 2.75 liters this thing here is roughly half that the honey super so this is a very simple hive design now I'm hopeful that the bees will fill out this bottom section down here, oops, this bottom section, brood up the top, pollen at the bottom, and then the excess, they'll use this area for honey. But we're unsure about sapiens if they'll do that. What if they decide that honey should be stored near the entrance, which some literature indicates? Does this mean this hive design is stuffed? No, it don't. Let me hit pause. We do this. Just flip it around. So if they want to store honey down the bottom section, I can just flip it around. The base plate's still there to stop the brood going down any lower, and it won't. It won't rise to the top. So there I can still get the honey if they decide that honey is going to be stored near the entrance. And that base plate is still there, separating the big chamber from the little one. So, we'll see how that goes.